Okay, in keeping with the theme that I've been on for the last 10 days, two weeks, it feels like years, um, I am going to purge this today. Today. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of these rubber bands, some of this stuff I've had so long, look what's happened to it. Wait, where is it? What's it what was it attached to? My rubber bands are starting to rot. Yeah, that's what the why this broke is because it's getting weak and it's rotting. So, it is time to perch. So, we can get rid of this. I'm never going to use that. I don't know what I was thinking. I will not use this. It's too thick. I mean, I don't make stuff that wide that often anymore. This is a couple years old, and I didn't even finish the inside. I abandoned it, so that can go. Oh, uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, all right, so I will keep the corrugated cardboard. This thing would have been a corrugated book. I, maybe I'll keep that one. I, I, I think that one can stay. I have, what else? More corrugated booky things. Those can uh, go. And I have this thing. I don't know what this is or where it came from. Oh, it's packaging for something. Nice, sturdy board. But am I going to use this? No. No, I won't. I, I can see that that's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> I will, however... Oh, is this where the rubber band came from? No. All right. I made another one of these books to put my travels, uh, the Dina Wakely, are they Dina Wakely? Diane Reevely. Oh, sh I can't remember. One of those two. It's their um, travel travelers journals. What I do is I work in them for a while. Um, slipped under, well, here, let me show you. It's better to see. All right, I don't know where I'm going to scoop this thing. All right, so this. I work in this, and when I finish one of these, when they're done, I take them and I sew them into one of these books covered in the sugar bags or the flower bags. I just, it will remind me that's what's in there. There are, how many signatures are in here? One... Oh, I only have two signatures in here. Uh-oh, where's the third one? Anyway, so when I get up to three, then what I will do is I will sew these things into this. I might could get four or five in here. We'll see. But I sew them in here, and then they go up on the bookshelf. And then I'll put fresh ones in here and start it all over again. So that's what I use these for. I will not get rid of the gold medal bag, and I will not get rid of my local grocery store, which is Brookshire's. Um, extra fine sugar. These will stay. And no, I don't have any bugs or ants. I haven't had any problems with them. So this stuff will stay. This needs to be put away because I will have it all over the table. Disassembled. Um, I'm going to get rid of, you know, these kind of boxes because, like, they're a dime a dozen. Actually, I need to get rid of that for sure and get the names off of it. Uh, that stays. Hold on a second. All right, what's this? I'm going from the largest to the smallest. All right, so these are Zatarans. You know, the New Orleans rice and jambalaya boxes. I like these size journals, though. These are nice size journals. If you're going to do something that's not too, too big, these might be better for the travelers. I don't know if they're, they're tall enough or not, though. Why, yes, they are. Okay, so um, I'm still going to save them. <clears throat> All right, so I think I would like to save my... I'll save one small Zatarans. Let's see. There's Jambalaya. Uh, rice, dinner mix, Jambalaya, Jambalaya. Can you tell we like Jambalaya? Cheese, Jambalaya, and Jambalaya, Jambalaya. Okay, so I will save one and one. So I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Do I need six of these? No. Gone. All right, next is 
Oh, see, here's a rubber band that's hanging by a thread. It looks like a worm, but it's a rubber band that's given up all hope. <laughs> all right, let's see. These, these are my, I think, these are some of my most favorite crackers. Why did I only say, okay. All right, so these are another wide back journal. Uh, these are my favorite crackers. Italian herb flatbed stuff, flatbread, sorry. This is the, I don't know, this is, oh, pita sea salt crackers. And what is this one? This is the same thing as the other one. All right, so I'm going to get rid of these, and I'm going to let this go too. Got to go. Let's see, behind that is, oh, and I, these, okay, I'm going to let go of all of these because we eat these so often that I can wait till we empty another one. I don't think I will ever use these, but that can go too. And here we go. Here's something else that needs to go, and I think this rubber band might be on the verge of committing suicide. Um, this is, let me get this stuff out of the way. Well, no, because I have to put it back in the basket. All right, so I don't need this yellow cake mix. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, really, it looks like I baked five years ago. <laughs> so those are gone. All right, let's see. I've held them all together so I know what sizes were. Panko breadcrumbs, something I use real often, so I don't need to save those. Besides, I've got other boxes that fill that need. Uh, the pasta boxes with the windows, absolutely not. We'll never use those. What are these? Oh, Swiffer. <laughs> these, I guess, were going to be spines or something, or maybe smaller books. I don't know. So what do we got here? Oh, see, look. Mm, I cut up this one already. That can go. Swiffer dusters. Those can go. See, those are those broadside. No, I'm not making a book that fat. Not this year. I already have some from last year I haven't even finished. Okay, now we have Old El Paso. I do like their boxes because the spine is not too, too wide, but you can still get five, four or five um, signatures in here. I, I love these boxes, but this is something we eat all the time, so if I need one, we'll have that for dinner the next week. Graham crackers. These boxes have the, you know, super wide. Nope. Girl Scout cookies? No. No. And the only thing I can say about the Ritz crackers, and why do I only have one half of the box? Okay. I would use this if I had like 8 by 8 you know, square paper, but I don't usually do square paper. So, bye bye Now we have my hus I think this is my husband's favorite food, is Kraft macaroni and cheese. All right, so I did cut this to make it a smaller book, but I'm not saving it, and you'll see why later. Oh, and this is the reinforced um, spine, because what I did is I cut them in half, and I took the spine from another part of the box and glued it onto what would be the new spine, sorry, what would be the new spine to reinforce it for signatures. You really don't need to do that. And this is one that's going. And then, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. They can go bye-bye. And, oh, candy boxes. Who does not like a good diabetes candy? <laughs> Milk duds. Gone. I'm going to say, oh, now this is for a, a skinny box for, you know, a tall skinny journal. Am I going to do it? No. I know people like these, so maybe I will set these aside and see if anybody wants these because they are tall. I don't eat this kind of stuff. Goobers. Well, maybe let me save these. I don't eat these. Somebody gifted these to me, but I'm just not going to use them. They've been sitting in that basket for like 10,000 years. Dots? No. Raisinets? Tall skinny box? Yes. I'll see if anybody wants any of these tall skinny boxes if when I put the video out and nobody says anything, a uh, bye bye Okay, so that's those sugar babies and 
Whoppers now. All right, so I will set these aside if anybody wants this size of a box and they don't eat this kind of candy. You know, you could cut down other boxes, just saying. If you're willing to pay the postage to get them, I will mail them to you. I'm not paying for postage to mail empty boxes. All right, what's next? We have a stray popcorn box. We don't know why. What is this? Oh, 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 these are going to be hard to get rid of. My favorite cookie. <laughs> Oreos. If nothing else gives you diabetes, these sure will. <laughs> I do love them, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say bye-bye. Because they need to go. Oh, look, pie crust box I cut up. Don't need it. There's another one. See, this is stuff I've been saving for years, thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to make all these books. The thing is about making them all is, like, you feel compelled to fill them. So then you accumulate the stuff to fill them with. And then you have the boxes, the innards, and the ephemera, and you don't use any of them. This is just plain foolish. Foolish, foolish. What was I thinking? Okay, here are... Some of these boxes are just interesting on their own. These are brush markers, a brush marker box. I just like the dueling on here. I think that might, ooh, they were $30. Um, that might be the only reason I saved it is because all this beautiful dueling, doodling here. I might cut that off. I, 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 I need to cut that off and glue it on something. All right, two in a salad, um, two, no. Pocky sticks, no, you can get those at World Market. I don't need that stuff. Italian dressing, true time lemon. Oh, I got some of that in the cabinet. I'm not. Oh, looky here. My pens. No. Garlic toast, Posca pens, and with a big fat side. No. No, 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 and no. Okay. Uh, oh. Huh, somebody here has flatulence. <laughs> Tabasco boxes, uh, arthritis pain formula, Tylenol. Well, knockoff Tylenol. All right, this almond flavor. That's cute. I'll put that in the other pile for the skinny little skinny books. This one is staying. Pocky goes, Tabasco goes, flatulence goes. <laughs> okay, now... This stuff is a dime a dozen in this house. We eat chili like it's going out of style every winter. I probably make a pot of chili once a week, once every 10 days. So it's not like I can't replenish these boxes some other time if I need this size of it. This makes a nice size journal. I, well, for a three-hole pamphlet stitch source situation. I, I This is a lovely journal size. You could cut the spine out of it and use it for a three-piece book. It just that these are really nice size boxes. I don't like big, huge honking boxes. Can't tell it by all the crap I've saved, can you? <gasps> all right, here's another rubber band begging for mercy. Release me. Jiffy corn muffin box. We eat a lot of this stuff here. I live in the South. I like cornbread. I don't always make it from scratch, as is evident by the 7,000 boxes that I've saved. Bye bye. All right, let's see what's this box. These box. Oh, Jolly Rancher. Somebody sent me these. This my husband collect. Oh no, my husband drinks this stuff. Look at this. Did it go in his water bottles when he was working, like five years ago, before he retired? I don't know. Does anybody like these kinds of things? I, I'm not sure what to do with these. Maybe I'll put them in the pile that anybody, oops, if anybody wants them, you can have them mailed to you, and I will. These were gifted to me because I don't eat cereal like this. And if anybody wants these, I'll put them in the want pile. You can let me know. Okay, what's this one? Oh, Lipton Extra Noodle Chicken. I don't eat this stuff. Somebody gave it to me. This stuff I do eat. And we eat it on a regular basis, so no big deal. Oh, and this is um, my local brand of butter for our, you know, your generic butter from your local grocery store. Here's one from HEB, which is a Texas thing. 
very big Texas thing. And Brookshire Brothers or Brookshire's also a Texas thing. So there was that. Then we have this, which is what? Oh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. <laughs> okay, those definitely can go. And let's see what's in here. All right, I don't know why this has got holes poked in it. I, I don't. Whoa, those are honkers. Okay, that can go. Um, I think I'm going to save these. These are um, Prima boxes, and I think I'm going to save those. All right, so you save. You're safe. What's this? Oh, I think I'm going to save this one, too. This is, what is this? Something, dishwasher something, but it has a clear, a clear front to it, so I don't have to do anything to it. Yeah, you stay. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. All right, here we go. We have, oh, Lord, medication boxes. I'm not even going to show those. <laughs> okay, so I have a friend who has false teeth. And she's been sending me her evident boxes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 boxes. Um, so what do you think? It was very nice that she sent them to me, and that was years ago, and I asked her to stop. I, I told her I didn't need any more because I had a lot already. I'm not sure she's going to believe me. There are 37. 37. I'm going to save one, two... Two. <laughs> Two. All right, what else? This is a lovely, very soft, it, it really, it feels as soft as it looks, box. And I'm going to save these for me. All right, so you stay, you stay, you stay. Then I have all these other things that are clipped together. What we got? We got a random Jiffy box, pure vanilla, more Jiffy box, sure gel boxes, jello boxes, Knox boxes. They do make nice size little journals, and I like them this size. So I think I might save this one. I'm not saving all of them. So I will get rid of the Jello boxes. Royal Jello, I don't use that brand. I don't know where that came from. Uh, okay, those can go. I'm going to save the Knox boxes, and I'm going to get rid of the Shore Gel because there's just too many. I, I just. Wee. All right, so. This might be the mother load of all boxes. My husband doesn't like drinking water, so he covers up the taste with this stuff. These are all drink boxes. Okay, AMW root beer, Jolly Rancher, Jolly Rancher, Jolly Ranchers. What's this one? Are these the margarita? Oh, cherry lime aid singles. Orange Cherry Crush, Orange Crush. Oh my God, I did them according to color. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, <laughs> this one is Pineapple Singles to Go. There's Pineapple. Then we have the Grape Orange Crush ones. Oh, an A&W, a oh, A&W, Welch's, H-E-B. <laughs> The grocery store brands, raspberry, raspberry, green tea. Ooh, passion fruit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this stuff is stuff that's in my house 24-7 already. I don't need to save these. Truly, I don't know what I was... The A&Ws, though, those, those are nice size. All right, I'll throw in an A&W. Maybe I'll just do one of every... No, don't do it, Vicki. Okay, so these are going away. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at that. Look what I'm left with. Ta-da. 
<laughs> I'm so proud of myself. All right, so this is all I ended up with. This pile here, just a few little indiscriminate things. And I had this in there, but I don't own this um, kind of markers anymore. I bought them at AC Moore before they went out of business. I might cover a book with this. This will make a great book cover, but that's it. I, I don't own these markers and I really don't need this, but I'm gonna save it. So like I did the sugar bags, I'm gonna save it and cover a book with it. So this is all my um, journal cover stock. Look at, look at this. They were all, look at that. I've been looking for a bunch of bull clips and geez, that's where they all were. All right, so stay tuned for part number two for this. Just wait. You, you will start crying when you see this. Actually from laughing yourself silly. Okay, part two of the Basket Purge series. <laughs> because I hate getting rid of scraps, this is my chipboard box. All right, so, um, uh, yeah. It's not all chipboard, but it's stuff that's used in books ma bookmaking. This basket is, let me do it this way. It is 11, 11 inches tall and bing, bada bing, 11 inches wide. So it's basically a square basket, 11 by 11. And it's, you know, full. So instead of making you go through all of this silliness with me, <laughs> I will purge this. Oh my God. Um, I, oh, I, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this or not. This has to do with little tiny pieces like this. And, oh wait, you know, like this. <laughs> Because this could be a book spine. As a matter of fact, this was a book spine that I cut the wrong um, length for. So I thought, well, if I make another one that size, I'll save it. And then this one was an off cut from another thing. And then this was, so, you know, and look. I mean, what? why am I saving this? <laughs> I don't even have the cubes. This is those mix and match, um, what are those things called, the, the fabric things to go inside the, the cubbies. I don't even have this stuff anymore, any of it. Um, oh, here it is. Here's the big picture. <laughs> okay, so you can see this is really ridiculously out of control. Oh my God. And so I, I filled this with all kinds of miscellaneous cardboard, you know, like when you use the end of a pad. I, I saved all of these. Uh, okay. Um, so that wasn't bad enough. I mean, one box that I just purged was like the complete pieces, most of them. This one's bits and pieces, but you know, I couldn't get other stuff in the basket. So I slid this stuff inside next to the basket in the cubby. <laughs> this is a problem. Hello, my name is Vicki. <laughs> I have a problem with hoarding chipboard, pseudo chipboard objects, cardboard, food boxes, pens, pencils. Oh my God, ink pads, ink, wait, wait. Okay. So I'm going to go through this. Um, some of the stuff I am going to save. I will show you what I want to get it down to. I think, I know I've showed these in other videos um, where I did the white paper sorting of the cardstock versus computer paper stuff. Um, I ordered a bunch of these in a bulk shipment where you could buy these and then the smaller size containers from Walmart. It's easier to get them from them than it is Amazon because the price is a little bit higher on Amazon. Um, so I just ordered these straight from Walmart. The, this size, they don't seem to carry in my store, so I had to order them. And I'm not driving all the way to Waco to... Eh, forget it. All right, so this is what I want to get all my, um, you know, this stuff down to a dull roar. I might be two containers, one of whole pieces intact, 
and then another one of the smaller pieces, like the bits and pieces that I can use in something else. Uh, we'll see. Like these will, will fit in here, so that's good. But only problem is, <laughs> there's a lot of them. And then I can't fit all this other stuff plus this too. So I might have to have two boxes for this kind of stuff versus, you know, this itty bitty nitpicky little, you know, this kind of stuff. This is embarrassing. Um, so it, what is this? That's cute. Vicky, stop. Okay, so, <laughs> so I have to get rid of some of this stuff. All right, I'm not going to show you the whole process because it's bloody boring. I might fast forward through it. It's going to give you a headache because I'm looking at it and I already want to cry. I'm so embarrassed that I have been reduced to doing this with my life. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> Let the torture begin. I mentioned today was Trash Tuesday. <laughs> right, this is all of it I can get on screen. And it looks like somebody came over and just dumped their garbage on my desk. Um, oh my word. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Holy cow. Okay, I guess if I don't start, I won't get finished. Just to show you I'm serious. I brought the trash bag in here with me because my little metal trash can is not even going to begin to hold all this crap. Ugh, mercy. Okay, <laughs> I gotta start now. Oh. Okay, I've got it down to a dull roar. I get uh, my little pile here. This is a lot of piddly stuff, and I'm not saving a lot of the cardboard. I'm trying not to save a lot of the flimsy stuff like this, like packaging. Uh, but let me say this part. If anybody wants packaging, and you're willing to pay for it to get shipped to you, you're welcome to these packaging things. I know people like to use them for junk journals. I'm not gonna do that. So there's no point in wasting it in case some person has to have this stuff. I will put this stuff in a Ziploc bag and set it aside, but it's only good for a small amount of time because I need to get this out of my house. Otherwise, I'll be digging into it. So I don't want that to happen. That's like leaving me alone with a box of Oreo cookies. I mean, come on can't be trusted. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Here, this is, I don't know how long I've had these. These are toilet paper things. I was going to make one of those toilet paper roll books, and I smashed them all and did everything, got them ready, and seriously, what was I thinking? I'm not making this. All right, my little dull roar here is, um, down to the little bitty pieces 
that I had like stuff I hadn't already thrown away. Like I need to get rid of corrugated cardboard. It's not like I can't get a post office box in the mail from somebody or uh, Amazon box. So a lot of this stuff like that's going in the garbage because I can always replenish that some other time. Um, so what's left is bits and pieces of really good hard uh, chipboard that I'm not going to get rid of because I'm I don't usually buy the heavy duty stuff and I want to hang on to that. Some of this that is like I mean this stuff's really hard. Um, I might use this because these came off a pad together or I cut them together so they're the same size. Uh, what's this? This is another one of those kind of things where I cut stuff. Whoop, not that one. Um, I cut a bunch of stuff the same size because I thought I was going to use it. And I haven't. So when I get new containers, I might have a container, like I said, with the really good chipboard and then the everything else stuff. Like, um, you know, this is flimsy. But I can get that somewhere else. And look, here's more of this stuff from the Green Mountain coffee boxes. Don't need it. This is hard. That's not too bad. This is good. That can go in the trash. I mean, so that's what I'm reduced down to. And I'll show you the results when I get back. Okay, so I'm finished. <laughs> sort of. All right, I had one extra of those small containers. Are these stair lights? I think these are stair lights. Stair light, what do they call them, big clips or something like that? Anyway, so the stuff that I ordered from Walmart had six of the mediums or large ones, and then it had six of these small ones. All of them came with their lids. Um, so I, this is the last one I have empty. So I put the little pieces that were on the desk in here because Lord knows I don't have enough place to store all this stuff. Not true, but sounds good. All right, so... These are some larger pieces that I'm that don't well they fit in there but the box is getting full. Okay, so let me dump what I set aside from the basket here. That's it. That's it. And some of it may still be weeded out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to categorize this stuff, chipboard versus, you know, file folders versus I don't know what. Cardboard. <laughs> Cardboard. Okay, so I've got all this stuff, and I'm going to categorize it and see if I if I really need the, the, what I've set aside here. I don't know. Um, in six months, I may dump all this stuff again. I just think that it, it may need to go. Um, it may need to go. Period. I, I, just, I just don't know. I just know that I have so much stuff, and I'm not going to live long enough to use all this stuff up. <laughs> sort of like my yarn. Now, I did de-stash yarn, I don't know, two years ago, and got rid of a lot of yarn. I still have a lot left, but I am working through my stash, so at least I'm attempting through that. And the way I attempt to get rid of this stuff is to throw it away. I'm not throwing away yarn. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So that's this. So really, there's not a whole lot here. I might be able to put some of this in one of those other containers, like this one here on the side. I might be able to put that in there. We'll see how it goes. But if stuff is larger than the inside of the container, it's going, because I don't do a lot of large stuff. I, do, I can't bear to part with this. That's too stinking pretty. I can't. I can't do it. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to sort through this stuff, and I will show you what I ended up doing. I'm going to need another one of those containers for just the first things that I did, which were the boxes. Because I, these containers are not deep enough to hold as much as what I got, so I might need a few more containers, but... I still feel like I'm I'm doing pretty well. I'm not I haven't broken out into hives yet. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. Okay, so this is all I saved. I don't know, why is this not centered? Um, this is all I saved from the box 
I mean the basket that I had that was 11 by 11. I do have a couple pieces here that are going to be re relocated to another place because I do want to keep these, but they're not really part of the chipboard stuff. So that's going to move. Um, the rest of the stuff I bagged up, and then I have this pile here in case anyone wants product stuff for, for junk journals, which I'm not going to use. I Like I said, I'll put these in a Ziploc bag, and if somebody wants to pay to have a mail to them, fine. Once this video comes out, it'll be available for two weeks, and then it's going in the trash because I'm not going to use this stuff. And if I leave it hanging around here, I'm in trouble. <laughs> deep, deep hoarder mindset trouble. <laughs> okay, so this is mission accomplished. And then um, I ordered my new containers. Uh, let's see what's next. Oh, I have to go through my plastic bag supply. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, all right, everybody. So I think we might be done with this portion. I'm not really sure. We'll see how it goes.